Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Gilly Rice from your right and welcome to my channel. Today I found something on the internet. I think I've seen this before, but um, like a year ago, but today I'm gonna talk about it. Um, it, it this was published like April 29, 2016. Uh, yeah, three years ago, over three years ago. This is about Kofi, including animals in some way. Um, um, so, the, the disturbing secret behind the world's most expensive coffee, Kupiluwaki, is made from coffee beans plucked from civets' feces. This is a bad news for the civets. Do you say civets? So this is in a country named Indonesia. So we're gonna read this. This is Indonesia about coffee. Uh, it's the world's most expensive coffee and it's made from poop. I mean, usually that we have here, coffee, it's made mostly from bushes, trees, plants, you know, coffee beans. And then coffee beans, we're doing it out of coffee. Um, this is Indonesia. They So they're picking uh, actually out poop from some animals, like dry it or something, and then make it to some sort of beans, and then to coffee. It's so disgusting, but it's also a bad news. So I don't know if that is so good or healthy at all. Probably not. I don't know. Uh, or rather, it's made from coffee beans that are partially digested and then pooped out by the civet, a cat-like creature. A cup of kupiluwak, as it known, can sell for as much as $80 in the United States. What? Holy shit. Found in Southeast Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa, the civet has a long tail, like a monkey face, markings like a raccoon, and stripes or spots on its body. It plays an important role in food chain, eating insects and small reptiles in addition to fruits, like coffee, cherries and mangoes, and being eaten in turn by leopards, large snakes and crocodiles. Jesus, let the animals be! <laughs> Holy At first the civet coffee traded about it well for these creatures. In Indonesia the Asian palm civet which raised commercial fruit farms is often seen as a pest. So the growth in the Kupiluwak industry encouraged local people to pr protect civets for their valuable dung. Do I say civets or is it kibets? Kibets? Civets? I say civets. I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know. For uh, protect civets for their valuable dung. The di digestive enzymes change the structure of proteins in the coffee beans, which removes some of the acidity to make a smoother cup of coffee. But the civet coffee has gained popularity, and with Indonesia growing as a tourist destination where visitors want to see and interact with wildlife, more wild civets are being confined to cages on coffee plantations. In part, this is for coffee production, but it's also so money can be made from civet ogling tourists. Cages. Oh, that is sick, disgusting, gross. Um, so, we're selling this as well in the United States, from Indonesia, shipping it to the United States. So if you're living in the United States, be freaking careful what kind of coffee you are buying. I'm gonna check out what kind of coffee they're selling in the United States, so I know which is the poop one and uh, and don't buy it. I'm coming to that later, hopefully, if I find it. Uh, and selling that in Indi Indonesia and then 
taking all the animals on the cages for all the coffee plants or coffee poop. That's so sick. In Indonesia, holy moly, what? Um, see, uh, researchers from Oxford University's Wildlife Conversation Research Unit and the London based non profit World Animal Protection assessed living conditions of nearly 50 wild civils held in cages and 60 plantations on Bali. The results published Thursday, okay, blah blah blah, in the Journal Animal Faint in Agriculture. Huh. I know one thing in, it's more of a Swedish website, there's a name the World Animal Protection as well. Um, it's a Swedish website. I was almost a member of that, but it didn't work. But it's in one website in Sweden, we have World Animal Protection when we can donate to them, to the animals that suffer in cages and, and from all the people that are hurting them and uh, it's a good donation that is a good website for Sweden at least okay from the size and sanitation of the cages to the ability of their occupants to act like normal civets every plantation the researchers visited failed basic animal welfare requirements some of these cages were literally the tiniest we would call them rabbit hutches okay tiniest uh, they're absolutely soaked through with urine and droppings all over the place one of the researchers some of the civets were very thin from being fed a restricted diet of only coffee cherries the fruit that surrounds the coffee bean some were of best from never being able to move around freely and some were jacked up on caffeine but we found most disturbing was the wire floor. Many of the animals were forced to stand, sit and sleep on around the clock. If you're standing on that kind of wire mesh all time, it's going to cause sores and abrasions. They have nowhere to go to get off that flooring. It's a constant, intense source of pain and discomfort. Oh, yeah. In one way, could agree with that. Uh, that's so. My God, holy moly! Additionally, man of the civil says no access to clean water and no opportunity to interact with other civets and the way exposed to daytime noise from traffic and tourists, which is particularly disturbing for these nocturnal animals. If they are wild or caged, uh, I don't know, but. Uh, both I guess so yeah if you want to read some more of it I put the link in the description on the YouTube uh, video uh, yeah down below on my YouTube video and uh, it's kind of growth and uh, in the cage wild animals should not be in the cage and I see in cage but it looks it looks just like f f normal cherry fruits well, oh, I don't know anymore. This is so sick. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna find out. Well, it seems like I could not find any some sort of coffee poop beans in the United States, but I don't know if that even is true. I do know the Indonesia and this thing is true, true story, but be happy you live in another country <laughs> because this is gross but it's almost like you know we drinking on our, on our own pee so what's the problem there at least they can do something good about it but it's somehow it sounds bleh. <laughs> but having the animals in cage doesn't feel right yeah yeah but i think america is fine with the coffee yeah nothing wrong with that so yeah i will see you guys in the next video and this one's a cooler buddy stay cool